Yo, what's up guys? Hope Discovery is coming at you with another video. With this, I've posted twice in a week, which means in 2019 I might post like three times. So as the title shows, uh, we were almost shot by a 12-year-old. Now that's not the full story though. I couldn't put the full story because story, it's a long-ass title. Okay, so gather around boys and girls, let me tell you about the story of the 12-year-old Mexican kid on a hoverboard with a gun. So, it was actually, I remember the day clearly because uh, it's the most fucking depressing day of the year. It's the last day of summer, so like that Sunday right before. It's always the fucking saddest. But me and a group of friends decided to spend it hanging out. So, it was probably a group of like 10 of us. We hang out like near the, near our school. And we just start there and then usually end up going somewhere else. But on this particular day, we were just chilling there trying to figure out what, what else to do. And there's, like I said, there's probably about 10 of us. And this car pulls up that we've never seen before. So we were like, okay, well, let's see who the hell this is. And they pull up to us. And it was some, it was some middle-aged man and a kid in the, in the passenger seat. And they asked if, I, if we had seen a kid on a hoverboard. And of course, you know, we fucking hadn't. And so he said that some kid, I guess, like broke into his house and stole nothing but his hoverboard or his gun. What I gathered is it's probably like the kid's friend who had just like taken it because he's an asshole. But he told me that he was like, if you see him, man, just call the police. So my friends are dumb, right? And... A group of them decided the best thing they could do, right? Because this guy described him as, like, a, he looked 12 and was Mexican, and he was on a hoverboard with a gun, so, I mean, I don't think I needed a fucking description, to be honest. Pretty self-explanatory if you see him. You know, it, it could have been another kid on a hoverboard with a gun if we saw him, so I really needed the explanation. But they decided the best thing they could do was go find the kid and jump him and, and take the hoverboard and the gun. So they went off and did that. Of course, I didn't, because, like, that's fucking dumb as hell. But, so, there was a group of, like, five of us still chilling at the school. And I forget what I was doing. I was in the back of my uh, buddy's truck, just not paying attention. And my friend just points. He just starts fucking pointing. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you pointing at? And I turn around. And there's, <laughs> there's the fucking kid on a hoverboard with a gun just rolling and he, he rolled across like this bridge that connects to our school and onto our campus and what's really funny about this is like three minutes earlier uh one of our friends had to take a fucking piss right so and i don't know why but he decided the best place to piss was under the bridge because it was like a ditch so he was pissing in there as the guy went across the bridge and i can't imagine being fucking him so our dumb asses you know, our other friends hadn't come back yet. We, we'd been texting them and shit, and they were just driving around trying to find the kid. And we were just sitting there and fucking found him. Our dumb asses were like, what's the best thing we can do? We're like, fuck it, hop in the car. We're going to track the kid down. So, you know, we, we hopped in the fucking car and started tracing after the kid. And we were driving for a little bit, and we fucking found him. And so, I, I don't know what we were trying to do. I think we were trying to we were trying to do what the other dumbasses were doing, but uh, we were all pussies. So we found this kid, and we like pulled in, and it was a weird neighborhood. Like it just looped back around. So we pulled in, and we just decided to loop. And as we loop back around, and we we come up to a stop sign, and this kid fucking turns around. Like he he, he we're just sitting there, and he's on the hoverboard, and he's like he's wheeling away from us. We're like, okay, we're fine. We're, we're fine. But he was real fucking close to us. And this motherfucker wheels his ass 180s around and starts fucking wheeling towards my car and reaches in his fucking, uh, into his waistband or whatever and pulls out the fucking gun. And they're like, dude, fucking floor it. Floor it. But I'm at a fucking stop sign. And, you know, I wasn't just going to, like, floor it into fucking traffic. So we had to wait. And this fucker, like, points it at us. And they're like, what the fuck are you waiting for? Because I was like, I got to look both ways, you know, I'm a I'm a safe driver. And, you know, I, I peeled out before anything happened, but... And then we just... We, we found our other friends who were also uh, too chicken to hop out and jump the kid. 
you know, jumping a kid with a gun is probably not a good idea. I would not advise it, advise it at all. Please, please don't jump a kid with a gun. And, I mean, from there we just went back to the school and had a fucking depressing day. But, yeah, uh, that that's pretty much the story of the 12-year-old Mexican kid on a hoverboard with a gun. And, like I said, there should be more stories to come. Uh, I am ordering a new Elgato because my shit broke. But even with that, my Xbox is also acting up, which means, like, I can't connect to online, which means Call of Duty, I can't play that. And that fucking sucks. So even if I were to have a fucking Elgato right now, I'd probably play, like... I'm limited to playing fucking Outlast, uh, 2K, Madden, fuck it, fuck it, fucking Minecraft. Uh, I'd be interested in starting some fucking, uh, old Xbox 360 games. Uh, I'd be interested in starting series on those. Like, I was thinking Hitman, because I've been, I've played a little bit of that game, and it seems really fun. But, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Also, what was I going to say? Oh, if I... Cannot get an Elgato within a reasonable time. I've been thinking about starting playing games through desktop. And I think if I do do that, my first one would probably be SCP Containment Breach. So hopefully that that's viewed as uh, being watchable. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye.